Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic or question is, how does fiber lower cholesterol? I'll discuss some of the pros and cons. Now, fiber has lots of benefits and it helps with digestion, stabilizes your blood sugar levels, and also can help lower your cholesterol levels. Now, foods with lots of fiber help prevent many diseases and also help you lose weight faster. Again, all really good benefits. But the main question is how and why does fiber work? And there are a few ways fiber works its magic. Now, one of them is that fiber works as a binder. Now, one theory is that the fiber is that it binds with the cholesterol in your intestines. The idea is that when fiber is converted into a gluey paste in your digestive tract, it sticks to the cholesterol and prevents it from being absorbed into the body where it could have gone into you know clogging your arteries. Another is fiber as a substitute. Another theory is that if you're eating foods with a lot of fiber, you're probably eating less total calories at the same time because you're not eating the bad foods. For example, you'll you know substitute oatmeal for bacon for breakfast or vegetables instead of rice for lunch. So there's a substitution. And finally, fiber for weight loss. You know, high fiber foods tend to be low in calories. They take longer to eat. They make you feel full sooner and for longer. So if you're eating more fiber, you're probably eating less of the stuff that causes weight gain. And keeping a healthy weight is crucial in keeping your heart healthy and your cholesterol low. Now, another question is, what's the best type of fiber? Now, there are mainly two types of fibers, soluble and insoluble, and both have their benefits. The soluble fiber is in foods like oatmeal and oat bran, nuts, apples, strawberries, you know, beans, and barley. Now, this is the fiber that turns into a gel in the intestines and slows down digestion. It's soluble fiber, in particular, that seems to lower cholesterol. Then there is insoluble fiber and that doesn't really break down at all. It's in whole grains and wheat cereals, vegetables like carrots, tomatoes, and celery. So which type of fiber should you eat more of? Actually, the answer is both. Although soluble fiber might have the clear connection to cholesterol, insoluble fiber and total fiber, which is soluble and insoluble fiber combined, are linked with lower rates of heart disease. Now, many fruits and vegetables, such as apples, beets, pears, and carrots, contain good amounts of both types of fiber. But fiber isn't the only way to lower your cholesterol. Let's quickly discuss the healthiest, fastest, easiest, and safest ways of lowering your cholesterol naturally. Okay, so let's first start off with your diet. You know, of course you know that your diet is very important, so let me give a quick overview and summary. First, we'll start off with carbohydrates. Try to eliminate or at least limit all man-made carbohydrates, such as you know crackers and cakes and breads and chips and so forth. Anything that comes in a box just isn't good for you. Try to stick to natural carbohydrates, such as vegetables, fruits, legumes, sweet potatoes, and a small amount of steel-cut oatmeal. Now, too many of the wrong carbohydrates increase your insulin blood sugar levels, which increases cholesterol and can cause many of the negative health ailments. Then we go to proteins. Now, Americans they just eat way too much animal protein. So trying to reduce the proteins and limit it to vegetable sources or um, grass-fed bison and wild-caught fish such as salmon. Please stop eating dairy and soy because they cause negative hormonal changes by reducing your thyroid and increasing the toxic estrogens and stress hormones. And all of this leads to excessive body fat and cancer. Now, next we'll talk about fats. Now, they, these are very important for just proper hormonal function. And the best are raw almonds, walnuts, avocados, fish oil, and extra virgin coconut oil. Try to stay away from the man-made, the supermarket oils such as soybean and sesame or canola, corn, and safflower, and similar oils and products. Definitely no margarine either. Now, all these fats cause imbalances in hormones and lead to heart disease with long-term usage. And finally, fiber. Try to eat lots of fiber, about 10 to 25 grams daily. And the best sources would be from vegetables, legumes, fruits with the skin, and nuts. Again, walnuts being the best. Next, let's talk about exercise. You know, all you need is about 20 to 30 minutes of something three or four times a week. Now, walking is great to start with. Lifting weights um, has many hormonal benefits. Uh, swimming, playing sports, and so forth are all very helpful. Pick something fun and stick to it and be consistent. 
Then we go to stress management, something that most people don't talk about. And the topic of stress is big and can be complicated and requires its own space. And I'll discuss this in a topic in the future. But stress really does kill because of all the negative hormonal changes. Now, my only advice here is that you must manage how you react to stress. Okay. Try to spend, you know, your time on the solutions in life rather than complain about the problems. And finally, we'll talk about natural herbs and vitamins. And this is very important. And this made the biggest difference for my own parents. Now, there are about, you know, half a dozen really good clinically proven herbs and natural ingredients that help lower your cholesterol levels, um, triglycerides, and improve your HDL, LDL ratios. Now, this is important because of aging and hormonal changes. Your body needs specific nutrients to help regulate and improve your cholesterol levels and triglycerides from within naturally. Okay, diet helps, but it's usually just not enough. Okay, so there you have it. Four proven ways, solutions for naturally improving your cholesterol levels and having a healthier heart. But there's something else I want you to consider. So I want you to pay attention to something really important in the big picture. Now, did you know that heart disease is the number one killer, killing more people each year than all the other diseases combined? So improving your cholesterol levels is very important, but it's just one factor out of many when it comes to preventing and reversing heart disease. Now, you also need to improve your HDL, LDL ratios, your triglycerides, your homocysteine, other lipid levels. Ultimately, your goal isn't even to lower cholesterol or to prevent heart disease, but it's to not have a heart attack or stroke. It's basically to not die prematurely. So, there is a big problem, something I've noticed over the years, and it's managing your lipid profiles is probably one of the most important aspects to health, longevity, and disease prevention. Unfortunately, it can sometimes get confusing, or you might feel overwhelmed with just too much information, right? What to do or not to do. Plus, you know, making dramatic lifestyle changes, such as eating better or eliminating lots of the different foods and exercise daily, you know, it's all very important, but for many people, it can be difficult to start and takes just a longer time to see results. And taking statin prescription drugs is never a good solution because of all the negative side effects. Now, I'm very familiar with this topic because these are all the same challenges I ran into with both my parents all the way back in 1999. So because of this, you know, I wanted a solution for my parents that was safe, it worked quickly, and just was easy. So I created a simple and very effective and proven all-in-one solution called Coleslo which is a small pill that helps to naturally lower your LDL bad cholesterol, also raise your HDL good cholesterol. It also helps lower triglycerides and homocysteine levels. And finally, it cleanses your liver. And this is where most cholesterol is produced. Now, one major reason cholesterol is just better than other options is because it's doctor formulated and clinically tested at work. And the feedback has been amazing. And since the product you know, has been around for, you know, almost 15 years or longer, you know it works and it's safe. Anyway, if you're looking for something that's natural for just total heart health, that's easy to take and works quickly, then take a look at the free video about how cholesterol works and how you'll benefit. You can also view the clinical studies, all the customer reviews, the frequently asked questions and so forth. Now take a look and let me know what you think. Please do this now while it's fresh on your mind. Hi, this is Scott Weatherby, and I just want to give you some feedback on your amazing product, Cholesterol. When I say amazing, I mean amazing because I think I've tried just about everything out there, and nothing has actually worked or helped me like Cholesterol has. I've already lowered my cholesterol by 48 points, and I've only been using it for about seven weeks now. It's also improved my HDL, LDL ratios, and my liver enzymes are almost back to normal. This was a problem that I was experiencing when I was taking the prescription drug, and I was also experiencing memory loss, uh, muscle pains, just a lot of bad side effects with the prescription drug. Um, I went ahead and I emailed over my before and after blood results to your staff so Dr. Robbins could uh, take a look at it and give me some feedback. And I just wanted to say a big thank you for actually, you know, delivering on something that was promised. I mean, the product actually works. It's really simple to take and I've had no side effects at all. And, you know, I absolutely feel great. I got a lot more energy. 
and you know even my doctor is happy with the results that he's seeing from this and I just wish that I would have found cholesterol a lot sooner and I just want to say a big thanks again I highly recommend it and you guys have a great day